What is up, Entre Nation? Jeff Lerner here, and today we're gonna check out seven different ways to make good money from home that you can get started with today. Now, before I start, I need to be clear. These are not jobs, per se. These are ways to make money from home, and I'm gonna show you seven different ways that you can be successful by sharing services, by doing freelance work, and even setting up some passive income options. If you're new to this channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos about how to create your most awesome life in the new economy. Make sure to click the bell so you get the notifications when new videos come out. And without further ado, let's get into seven different ways to make money from home. It is estimated that there are over 4 billion users on the internet right now. Many people are in their homes right now wondering about alternative ways to make money. So I decided to talk about projects that give you a good amount of money, not just a few bucks or you know, a little bit to pay a few extra bills, but things that you can actually make a real living with. You got all this kind of cheap stuff, and I talk about this stuff too, because not everybody has different goals, but those are things like taking surveys, selling your old clothes on eBay. In this video though, we're talking about projects that can range from $20 an hour to start, to possibly even $10,000 a month or more. Please listen carefully, I'm gonna be covering a number of different business models here. Make sure you watch the whole video, there is something here for everyone. First on the list, we have proofreading. With the explosion of content published on the internet, I'm talking billions of web pages between social media, blogs, other types of websites, and even videos and transcriptions, there is a high demand for proofreading and editing content before it goes live on the web. So if you're the type of person that spots every typo and grammar mistake in any article that you read, you might consider a business in proofreading. This is a freelance opportunity, it needs no certification, and you can use your eagle eyes to make really surprisingly good money. This is a great option to get started with because you're not having to come up with any content for the articles and it's really, really diverse. You can proofread uh, not only articles and blogs but things like restaurant menus, student essays, court transcripts, user manuals, even novels from professional writers. And the average rate is around $20 per hour on sites such as proofreadingservices.com. And number two on the list of ways to earn good money from home is writing content. And if you love writing and you wanna earn way more than just proofreading other people's content, then why not create your own content or freelance to write content for other companies? There are plenty of companies now that have their own blogs or their own newsletters or email marketing and so forth and you can be the person writing that content for them. Usually a piece of published content is around a thousand words and you're actually paid per word or sometimes per hundred words or per thousand words and typically the range is around 30 to 70 dollars per thousand words depending on your expertise, your experience and your credentials. And to get started you just join a site like freelancer.com and you start bidding on projects and you can also post this type of service for hire on fiverr.com, that's fiverr with two r's or upwork.com. And the third option is to actually create your own blog. So if you wanted to make writing content your full-time gig and earn passive income as well, which I'm a huge fan of, you can start your own blog. A blog is just a website that gives valuable information about a certain topic or what we call on the internet a niche. And there are millions of niches and the topics to write about in all these different niches are endless. And you don't even have to be the best blog out there. I take it from me as a, as a content creator, being perfect is not the goal, just be yourself. There's always gonna be a group of people that like the way that you present information better than someone else. You can create really dense informational blog articles, hopefully on topics that you're actually interested in, help answer people's questions. And then you can monetize that content, the different articles, in many different ways. A few of those ways are through affiliate links, paid partnerships, and even hosting banner ads of other advertisers on your blog. And you can make anywhere from a few hundred dollars a month, kind of I would consider entry level blog marketing, up to literally a million dollars a year with a really successful blog if you take it seriously. And another great thing about blogging is that you're building a sellable asset because blog content tends to get indexed by the search engines, which means it starts to generate predictable traffic back to the same articles over and over. People are willing to pay because they can forecast the traffic and the revenue to that website. And a quality blog will generally sell for around 30 times its monthly revenue. So if you have a blog that's making, let's say around 13, $1,400 per month, then you have roughly a $40,000 asset. 
And number four on the list is social media marketing. With almost three billion people, hear that number, three billion with a B people per month checking social media platforms, most of them daily, it's no surprise that businesses are looking for social media managers. It's pretty much the biggest way in human history to get in front of people. But most business owners do not have the time to make consistent updates to their social media profiles or to respond promptly to customer requests that come in through social media. And frankly, most businesses don't really know what to do with social media. And that's where you come into the picture. You can earn around 20 to a hundred dollars per hour as a competent social media manager. I know I pay people to help me manage my social media. And a solid approach is to market yourself as a specialist on just one platform. For example, let's say, uh, let's say Instagram. Instagram has its own style. The, each platform tends to have its own style, its own idiom, you might say. And Instagram's all about really pretty images and storytelling through clever branding. Basically, Instagram is like a first impression platform. It's very visual, it's very glossy. So first of all, to get started, if you wanna go out and sell your service of marketing Instagram or, or managing Instagram for businesses, make sure your own Instagram profile looks really good. I consider it like a work of art. And, and don't just consider each post, but consider the totality, uh, what, what I call the mosaic, where when you see your posts kind of all stacked up, what's the visual aesthetic of your posts all clustered together on the screen? You have to really understand how whatever platform you're gonna focus on works. And obviously with Instagram, it's, it's very visual. It's not so much engagement, it's not so much, or it's a certain type of engagement. It's not like these long, drawn out conversations with these extensive message, message threads back and forth like Facebook. Again, Instagram is mostly about the visual aesthetic and kind of the immediate uh, consumer reaction. And it's not rocket science, you just have to have basic online marketing skills and sort of develop your eye to understand what's really happening in the exchange on each individual platform. But one of the biggest things I see, and as somebody, again, who's hired social media managers, is you have people walking around town saying they're social media managers, but when you ask them basic questions, they don't understand the differences between the platforms, and they have really no clue how the algorithm works inside of each platform to basically predict how much exposure content is gonna get and how to manage the content in such a way that it leverages the algorithm to get the most exposure. So the bottom line is if you're gonna market services on a social media platform, you have to know your stuff. And this video isn't a place for me to teach you that for each platform, but there's plenty of videos out there that will teach you. This is just to tell you the opportunity exists and suggest that you pick a platform, you become proficient at it, you get your own uh, act together in regards to that platform, and then you can start reaching out to businesses who need social media managers and use your own profile, frankly, as all the resume that you need to get the work. That's the nice thing about it is you, you understand the platform, you just get it in shape for yourself and now you can go out, you don't have to have this extensive history of other, others that you served. If your profile looks really good, a lot of times that's all you need. Check out the business profiles in your area. If it's Facebook, look at the Facebook pages. If it's Instagram, look at the Instagram business profiles and so forth. If it's YouTube, look at the channels and see if they could use your help with better branding, better storytelling, or getting more engagement from their viewers or from consumers. And a lot of companies will actually put you on a monthly retainer for you to manage their profiles. That's one of the reasons I love digital services. It's one of the reasons I had a digital agency for six years. We had over a quarter million dollars a month of basically subscription income, people that had us on retainer to manage some aspect of their digital marketing. This is an extremely lucrative skill to have. And with just a few clients a month, you can easily get up to six figures a year. This is a very, very powerful way to work from home. And also, many businesses don't just need better visuals, they need the actual response of customer of generating customer leads. So they don't just need engagement, they don't just need people leaving comments, they don't just need people liking their posts, they need actual leads for their business. So if you effectively learn how to deploy paid advertising on these platforms, for example, geo-targeted Facebook lead ads, like for let's say a plumber or a roofer or an attorney, then you can easily scale this social media management into a multi-service agency where you're doing social media management, you're also doing social media lead generation, you're managing paid ads, you're not only getting paid retainer fees, you're even getting paid a percentage of the ad spend. Once you've trained yourself and you become confident in your skills, you can start reaching out to bigger companies and literally build a full career or even a full you know, big business. I had, my agency had almost 50 employees at one point just off of a few big clients. Very, very powerful. Moving on to number five way to make money from home on the internet, it's graphic design. 
There are tons of businesses that need logos, business cards, they need Facebook banners, other banners for other types of advertising. Uh, they need you know, cover art for their Facebook pages. They need cover art for their YouTube channels. Just anything you can think of, they need uh, product design. So if they're showing like a certain product, they need like a mock-up to show on their website. So many different things that need to be designed. If you enjoy playing around with visuals and you're willing to learn software such as Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, then graphic design could definitely be for you. If you wanna make really good money with graphic design, I'll tell you this, the highest paid graphic designers combine multiple skills into their design. So they aren't just good at the imagery. Having knowledge of branding, sales, direct response marketing, powerful words and copywriting allows some graphic designers to charge well over $100 per hour. In fact, I can tell you that the graphic designer that I use for Entra, my education company, we pay him well over 10 times the average for you know freelance graphic design services because he's good at copy, He's good at design, he understands direct response, he understands how to design sales funnels, he knows how to design landing pages, he understands the marketing as well as the design. He understands the marketing as well as I do, but he understands the design a million times better than I do, and by hiring him, it means I don't have to have a marketing guy and a design guy and try to get them to, to work together and lose the time. I just have one brain that can do it all, which is why he's able to charge me 10 times what most designers would, and I'm happy to pay it. Getting really good at these skills, especially when you, you get the, the multiple factors assets of marketing and design is extremely lucrative, but even with just design, just basic design skills, you can easily land a client on Fiverr for around $25 to $40 per hour to start. You can scale it into a whole business, and then you basically get to sit there and say, how many clients do I want to take on, and what rates do I want to set per project. Very, very powerful. The sixth thing that you can do to earn good money from home is creating an e-commerce store or allowing Amazon to power your e-commerce store basically through what's called their FBA program or fulfillment by Amazon. Basically, this means setting up a store to sell physical products online. And you don't need to be creative. You don't have to create a product. You don't have to stock a product. You don't have to invent a product. You can find many ready to go products. You can buy them directly from the manufacturer or a wholesaler. You sell them online through sites like Amazon or through systems like Shopify. And in many cases, they'll just do what's called drop shipping and ship the project, the product for you so you don't have to take possession of the product at any point. Anyone can do this. And there are tons of plugins, especially in the Shopify ecosystem, that will automate a lot of the process. In fact, e-commerce can become eventually completely passive. I'll say this, I own an e-com store. It's not my main business, but it's by far my easiest business. It does about a quarter million dollars a year in sales at about a 50% profit margin. So I make over a hundred grand a year from this store. Most of the time I forget to log into it because it's completely automated. I have one person that helps me run it and they live in another city, and the only time I really remember to check it is when I take money out of it and I have to send some money to her. It's Other than that, it's completely automated, like literally six-figure income with that I probably check twice a year. That's and, and that one's built through Shopify, but you also have Amazon. I'm sure you've heard of Amazon. Amazon is the largest e-commerce platform on the planet, one of the largest companies in the history of the world and it's only getting bigger. But a lot of people don't realize that 70% of the products sold on Amazon are actually sold by independent sellers. And in fact, there are over 100,000 people or independent sellers doing over a million dollars a year in sales on Amazon. And it's done through, like I said, the FBA program, Fulfillment by Amazon, where they handle all the warehousing and shipping for you. You can even have the manufacturer ship the products directly to Amazon, where they warehouse and store it, and then fulfill the orders as they come in and ship it to the customer, so you never have to physically touch the items. Now, once you've had experience with choosing which products sell well, you can actually leverage that into starting your own product uh, brand or what's called a white label, where you basically take existing products and you get to slap a brand on it, your brand, and build your own brand, which by the way, you'll probably wanna hire a designer for that, like I mentioned. And in that case, not only are you creating a personal brand, which is a more scalable business and a higher value business, but you also tend to get higher profit margins because you can set premium pricing when it's not just an anonymous faceless brand, but it's a brand that people feel like they can connect to. There's actually a, what's called a secondary market for these stores. Whether you're talking about an e-commerce store on the Shopify platform or an Amazon store, you can actually go sell these stores. Your brand could be sold for over six figures and then you can use that to leverage into any other type of business. In fact, a lot of people that I know that run 
multiple eight figure companies, started out with a small e-commerce store. They were able to sell it, you know, they run it for a year or two, get a consistent history, sell it on sites like empireflippers.com, for example, get a multiple of their monthly revenue and then parlay that into a bigger business. And the final thing on the list for ways to earn money from home is to become a freelancer. And so far I have covered very specific opportunities that you can do to work from home. But if none of these are what you were looking for, then this may be the option for you. I mentioned Fiverr with two R's earlier in this video, and I wanna come back to it. It is the place to be for freelancing work and the projects you can do on there, the services that you can sell are so diverse, it's almost hilarious. Like ask a kid to come up with anything and be like, oh, there's probably somebody paying for that on Fiverr. I'm talking anything from astrology readings, astrology readings, you can sell that as a service on Fiverr. Voiceovers, project management, let's say you're really organized and you're like, hey, trying to do something, I'll help you organize it. You can sell that as a service on Fiverr. Fitness lessons, promoting music, translating if you speak multiple languages, you know, advertising real estate for sale, arts and crafts, making necklaces, making jewelry, cooking, copywriting, coding, writing computer code, even reviewing other people's computer code or or going through their software or beta testing apps, like anything you can think of. And if you're new on Fiverr, you don't have experience, you just set your rate lower, you start getting jobs, you gain experience, you get reviews, and then you can raise your prices. And if you wanna use your professional skills at home as a freelancer, then you can sign up for Upwork, which connects professionals with agencies. So specifically things like administrative support, customer service, analytics, generating reports, writing, design, accounting, marketing. Upwork is a great platform. I personally use multiple professionals on Upwork. In fact, my agency that I mentioned, which I, I sold a couple years ago, we had like four different uh, service providers that we, we not only hired through Upwork, but that we managed and paid directly through Upwork. It is a great platform that can offer really good income, very pro professional relationships. It's fast and it's easy. So that covers the full gamut. I wish you well with whatever home project you decide to choose. We covered proofreading, content writing, blogging, social media marketing, social media uh, paid lead generation, graphic design, e-commerce on Shopify and Amazon FBA, and freelancing through Fiverr and Upwork. Tons of different options, like I said. If you'd like further information about this whole world of digital marketing or digital services to generate home-based income, you know, websites, blogging, e-com, agency, even creating courses, um, then let me encourage you to click the link below. I have some training that gives you step-by-step -step guidance on these topics. I have a training company called Entra, and this is what we do. We teach people how to create their awesome life in the new economy by learning these skills. I love sharing this training with you. I'm not embarrassed to do so because it has helped so many people uh, who went from having no clue how this stuff worked, maybe saw some of my YouTube videos, got involved, got trained, and have set up full-blown six-figure businesses. And if you wanna learn more ways to earn money, more ways to build your awesome life, more ways to be what I call successfully unemployed, which means not that you don't work, but that you don't have to work for someone else, then please hit subscribe. Um, again, make sure to, to click the bell so you get notified as new videos come on. And please comment below. Let me know what you wanna see more of. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe give the video a like if you got some value. Thank you for your time and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.